Okay, hey, my name is Gary Cleveland. Here we go. I know this is going to be one of my most popular videos and probably one of the most popular on YouTube just based on how many people search for safest way to put on your shoes and socks and nothing comes up. You know what? It's a it's an empty field, you know. So let me let me answer the question, solve the riddle, and I'm in a minute I'll give you a funny story as an example for why I've adopted this method of putting on my shoes and socks. I use this every day, quite effective and no problem since I've adopted this theory. All right, most people use what's in the field called the sock sock shoe shoe method where you put on one sock, you put on your other sock and then you, and then you put on shoe shoe. This is the problem, all right. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe leaves you in a vulnerable position. I'll get more onto that in a second. The correct and safest way to don your shoes and socks is exactly as follows. One sock, one shoe. Tie, fast forward, tie. Next sock, next shoe. Takes exactly the same amount of time. Exactly, I've timed it. It's taking longer right now. Now, your socks and shoes are on. Here's the main thing. At no point when you use this method do you end up in a situation where you are just in your socks. That's what you gotta watch out for. When you go with the sock, sock, shoe, shoe, at some point you are just in your socks. Here's what happened to me three years ago, I think. It might have been two years ago, I think it was three. I was putting on my shoes and socks. When I was at this stage right here, our young puppy bolted out the screen, kicked through our screened in door because there were skateboarders riding down the road. And she bust through the door, took off, and I I had heard the skateboarders, so I knew what was going on. I knew she was going after them. And I jumped up and I took off running and I slid right through our kitchen. And much like this right here, we have a, a wooden table, four-legged table, and I slid on the kitchen floor and broke my toe on the table leg and then had to still get out there and get my dog. So, and then that ended up costing a bunch of money, not because I went to the hospital, but because I still had to go to work, but I had to pay someone extra to come to work with me and carry everything because I couldn't walk. So anyway, now my new method uh, sock shoe, sock shoe, as they call it. Sock shoe, sock shoe leaves you at no point in a position where you are in your socks. Even if you have one sock and one bare foot, you are still better equipped to deal with anything that might arise. You know, you never know. You never know. It's a crazy world. So, and maybe you have one shoe on and one sock on. Even then, you are 10 times better than just having two socks on. So all I'm saying is quit it with the sock, sock, shoe, shoe. You're, you're jeopardizing your life. You, you never know. You never know what might happen during that brief time. I know it's only a matter of seconds, but still, you never know what might happen. Play it safe. Sock, shoe, sock, shoe. All right. You got to stay cool. I'll be talking to you soon.